What is happening fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve and you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I'm not really sure what deliveries are gonna be like today, but I wanna work at least three hours. You can see the sun is high in the sky. It's freaking beautiful out. Thank you for joining me. If you're looking at any eMove or Cabo or Dualtron product, use my bonus codes, link in description. It really runs the channel. And now we are here at this Indian place. We have a 2.9 mile, $8 order as our first order of the day. Let's go get it, baby. We only had to wait a couple of minutes to get this first order. I'm calling that a win. Hi, guys. I got a Hamad for DoorDash. There you go. No problem. <laughs> this guy's trying to give me the COVID phone touch. Five minutes. I take two. How you doing, buddy? Are you driving today? You do DoorDash too? You think we're gonna make any money on Christmas? You think it'll be busy? Yes. Water, do you? We're dying of thirst out here. You wanna throw me, sell me a Diet Coke. Let me buy a Diet Coke. Did you see guys, like, I think since he's making me wait all this time, if I was the restaurant owner, I'd throw the guy a soda. Right across the street, um, Roro's gives me for a free soda. He tried to charge me three. I negotiated to two. Thank you, man. You're the best. I mean, this fucking guy, he can't remember. He can't remember from two customers. Tell me your name again. Your name. My name? Yes. Azad. Azad. Steven. Yes. Steven. Nice to meet you, Azad. You Make money today. All right, bro, again. Nice to meet you, Azad. Nice to meet you. Make some money today, baby. That guy is super cool. He's from like, I think he said Kazakhstan. I'm pretty sure it's what he said. And I'll tell you, I swear to God, one thing I love about living in LA is I just love that we're fucking mixed here. All right, let's go. We gotta go all the way down to this fucking far delivery location near Park La Brea. I don't know if it's gonna be busy today. We had to wait a long time for this order though, so that's good for Prop 22 money. And now we're going down to this place that's, a whoa, nice! Oh shit, you see that kid on the mini bike? All right, so let's, uh, let's get this shit done. This place is definitely a little tricky. The entrance is hiding back here somewhere behind the Ross, I know. Here's the entrance. I am pretty sure this customer left us a code, so hopefully this will not be a bitch to figure out. Yes! I was worried that wouldn't work. And now sometimes though, finding the unit here is a bitch. All right, so I think actually it's 302. I don't think there are elevators in this building. I think we have to go into the garage to get upstairs. I know we have a code for everything down here, so let's see what happens. This is it a little dangerous? Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. We have a code for all these doors. Yeah, this is like one of these buildings. If you haven't been here a bunch of times, it's impossible to figure out, but I think we just walked right in and we gotta go to 302. There's a code again. Boom, it worked. Let's go. I hate these places without fucking signs. All right, we're $8 to the good. Let's go. Now the hard part is sometimes finding our way out of here. I mean, this is a nice complex and everything, but it is just so fucking big. Oh shit. I don't know if we remember the code to get out of here, but luckily somebody just went out. Yeah, we remember the code. It's 118839 pound. All right, so we're out of here. Let's get another order. I didn't order. work that much this week, so I feel kind of fresh. I feel like it's a great opportunity for DoorDash to give me like the worst order ever. Like I would take a seven mile order right now if they gave it to me. I just want to get on the goddamn road. Just taking us to a different part of town because it was slow at Target, but we got a 3.1 mile, $10 Tatsu ramen. That's crazy. Hopefully they're ready. Hey, what's up, buddy? I got this one. I think it's right behind you. I'm, lo I'm always lucky like that. Watch this, watch this. Happy holidays, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That was fucking funny. He got my joke. I knew this was our order. Let's go. 2.8 miles from here. No big deal. Nice big run up La Cienega. We're going deep into, uh, I guess this is like West Hollywood, Beverly Hills area we're going. Is this it, 8819? Yeah, this is it. 
this neighborhood is so quiet. I might risk a no, no lockup move, but let's see what happens. It's kind of interesting. The customer from the balcony just kind of like called to me and said to go this way instead of to the front. So hopefully, I guess he's just going to get me right here. All right, thanks, bro. Thank you, thank you. Well, I handed directly to the customer. And I bet you this one might have paid more than 10, right? And the 10 bucks with a $4 tip, very reasonable. Let's go, look at the sun, it's so nice out. I can't believe I got another order. I really don't know if I want to do this one though. Pavilions, four items, uh, 11.75. I guess we're gonna do it. Let's see what it's for, better be for easy shit. Ginger ale, pineapple cut, oh, this is super easy, let's go. I am not at all familiar with this place, but it doesn't mean we're not gonna try to walk it in, let's go. We need cans of soda first. Let's see if we can get through security here. I think we should be okay. I believe I got the first six pack. All right, very good. All right, this is a weird, a weird setup. It doesn't say how much they want. How much does this weigh? 1.4, 1.43 pounds. Okay, add. All right, we got it. My inner fat person found these ice cream Oreos, quick, I love Oreo ice cream. All right, we're done. Touch the quick look up button. All right, we're out of here. This is like zombie mania. Everybody's walking slow. Everybody's taking up two lanes with one body. Come on. We are up here somewhere. That's it, that's it. I was hoping it'd be a small one, but a lot of big buildings here. What can you do? It's a very easy order. Unfortunately, we couldn't get them their actual Coke. They were out of every brand of Coke except for like Coke Zero. All right, we are in. All right, 11.75, easy money. I thought my elevator sucked. I mean, my elevator sucks because it breaks down a lot. This elevator sucks. I mean, look at this. I'm touching this wall behind the camera and I can't even extend my arms all the way. The small elevator and we accidentally hit one. Whoa, sorry about that. Fucking guy gave me the evil eye. I'm sorry your fucking doors are a piece of shit. Let's get out of here. All right, we got another one. We're going back to the pavilions, it looks like. 2.3 for 13, that's pretty good. Let's see what it's for. I just hope it's for easy stuff. Blueberry pie, whole pie, bakery, pie, all pies, let's go. I screwed up on the entrance, it's up here. All right, the same pavilions we were at earlier. I'm getting really good at these shopping pay orders. This one looks really good too, so let's get it done fast. All right, I believe we got this one. All right, we got the apple pie too. I think we got the right LaCroix. Guava, perfect. Okay, I feel pretty good about this order. We're going over to Croft now. How far? 1.1, no big deal. Let's go, weather is still holding. Only big buildings on this street, so we know we're going in. Let's see if we want to risk another no tie-up order. A lot of it just depends on the number of the unit. Uh, 105, oh, I can practically see it. We're good, we don't need to tie up. No directions, but sometimes that just means it's gonna be obvious this is apartment 105, so guess what, buzz 105. Hey, what's up? Of all, I think you're gonna have a good holiday. Thank you, Merry Christmas. You too, bro. You too. Thank you, friend. My pleasure. All right, very good. That order paid pretty good too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 13 bucks. Beautiful. Let's get out of here. We're doing pretty good. We're at 42 bucks for exactly two hours. It's not too bad. 15 miles. Lots of range left. I don't even know where the hell we are. Where are we? Over in West Hollywood. Boom! Another order before I even get on the road. I mean, we're taking everything, right? Are we taking this one? Seven miles for eight dollars fifty cents. Fuck you, god damn it. The scooter mode, it's like, I don't wanna go back into bike mode, I want some big ass orders. I don't know if I'm gonna do this one. I don't know if I'm gonna do this one. I mean, come on, five miles for seven bucks. No way, I'm gonna put us, I'm, I'm not taking this one and I'm gonna put us back in bike mode. 
I guess today we're delivering pies, ice cream, and liquor. We got a Bevmo 675 for 1.6. Let's see what it's for. It's a 12 pack of Sapporo, some Japanese beer. Let's go. They threw another, they threw a 0.9 mile Bevmo on top. Uh, let's see if it's for the same person. I don't think it is. Couldn't actually take the double. I looked at the second one. It was for like multiple bottles of wine and a couple of 12 packs. So there's just no way I could do it all. But we're happy to do this uh, Sapporo order. This place is always a little difficult because they don't answer the door right away. And I don't know, I feel like the people that work in the back lot at a place like this, there's a reason why you're working in the back and not up front with the retail customers. This is a retail store. Hi there. I got Johnny W. Oh, you don't work here, right? No, we don't. Yo, you, guys, sweet. you guys are drivers, right? Yeah, that way they can't say I didn't steal the food. Yay. All right, there's not, sometimes it's just sitting around here. I walk in, this fucking place is the worst, just so you know. Oh, that's it right there, my Sapporo. <sighs> Should I just take it? Oh, hey, oh, I know you. What's up, bro? That's my Sapporo for Johnny W. Yeah. Can I just take it like that? I don't need a bag. All right, thanks, bro. All right, guys, make some money today. Good luck. Thanks for letting me in. <laughs> DoorDash driver let me in. It's funny. Oh, it's so sunny out here. Yeah, that other order was like ridiculous. There's no way we could have done it, but this one's good. Let's go. All right, so this shouldn't be so bad. So I do have a protocol with alcohol orders. Like I like to get as close as I can to the door of the person I'm dropping off to, but kind of keep the alcohol in the scooter box, kind of keep it out of their line of sight. So if a problem does happen, I can tell DoorDash I thought they were drunk and walk away from it and get away. Like that last order that I had the problem with, the scooter was tied up. That's really why I didn't walk away. But anyhow, let's do this. First time I've been in any traffic today and it's because this guy in the fucking bike is not getting to the right. Look what this guy's doing. He's holding everybody up over here. I shouldn't pass him on the right either. Fucking idiot. That's not how you do it, dude. If you're slowing down traffic, you gotta get in a bike lane, moron. I don't slow down traffic, that's my thing. When I'm out here, I don't want to slow somebody down because I know when I'm a driver, I get fucking pissed when some asshole is riding his bike 15 miles per hour in the middle of the lane. This is us right here. We just got a cool little ramp. We don't mind that at all. Uh, guess we're going in. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may... This person is ignoring every method of contact. That is not good. I hear these dogs barking here. I think they're going to flip out when they see me. Second try, and then I'll call them again. And there's, the problem with alcohol is it's not like I get to keep it. I got to bring it back. And I will get half pay. So actually, yeah. I mean, if this person won't answer or nothing, I'm just going to bring this shit back. Fuck. And now he's not picking up his phone either. Some of these customers, they just don't know how the way it works. That guy eventually called me and gave me, I guess, the entrance code, which he should have just put in the order, but let's go to uh, 301. Uh, 301 should always be. Oh, there you are. How you doing, man? Good. Yeah. Nice. I was just saying 301 is always close. Thank you. Right. Happy holidays. You too. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I like how we're doing on the elevator. Very cool. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah. Take care. Oh, yeah. We got it. I hear a little baby. What's going on here? Hi, kids. Hello. I got it. It's okay. Unless you want to do a full-on door, man. Oh, they look so cute. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You too. Merry Christmas. Thanks, brother. Uh -huh. I can hear those kids screaming. All right, we are definitely still working. How long have we been out here for so far? Two hours, 27. We'll do at least another half an hour. Coming in hot. I don't think it looks good. It's just like it's a double for ten fifty nine for five bucks, and it's like. This is just terrible. We're getting murdered now. So much for this great acceptance rate thing. Fellow pioneers, we are done. That is that. We worked for, let's see here, two hours, 57 minutes. We'll call it three hours, 20 miles. And we did do 50 bucks. We did actually $49.50. So we didn't really make a lot of money, but a short three hour shift, 50 bucks, doesn't hurt anything. I make a little money making the video. I make a little bit of money if somebody uses my bonus code, but I always like to come out here and work no matter what. It was a beautiful day. Thanks for your support. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, ask questions. Of course, use my bonus code. You know I will see you soon. Thank you.